This sport fishing tip is brought to you by Poseidon Sport Fishing Tackles in Chara, Chennai. A lot of people ask this question on what tackle to use for soft plastics, what rods to use, what reels to use, what line to use and what terminal tackle to use. So we thought we'll get that covered in this session because soft plastic fishing is getting quite popular in India and in fact it's one of the most versatile fishing methods that you could actually use. And I've seen a lot of people using traditional popping rods and spinning rods and complaining that they're not able to get the distance or they're not able to catch the fish. That's because they're not using the right tackle so they're not able to work the soft plastic the right way that it's supposed to be used. So we'll go through the rod selection and the reel selection for soft plastics for it to work the best. So you need to be using a light rod for soft plastic. There's a misconception that you can't land a big fish using a small rod and a small reel which is completely wrong. You do get uh, strong blanks these days and you get small reels with high drag capacity. So it actually allows you to land the fish using small tackle. I've been doing soft plastic fishing for the last 10 years and my personal best is an 8 kilo snapper on a light tackle and on a 10 pound braid. So going into the rods, you need to be choosing something that can cast from 10 to 40 grams, which will be ideal for the soft plastic fishing. And while choosing the rod, there are two other categories that you need to look at, the action of the rod and the actual power of the rod. So the action of the rod, there are four types of action. So the action refers to how much the actual rod tip bends and for it to go back. So the four types, the one is the extra fast, the fast, medium and slow. So that's how much it bends for it to cast the weight that the rod is rated for. So for example, if it's a 40 gram uh, rated rod, it's how much it actually bends from the tip for it to uh, load while it's being casted. And also the second category, the power, you get the rods in three different powers. One is the heavy, medium and light. And you do also get rods in medium heavy and things like that. So these specifications are normally mentioned in the back of the rod. And if the specification is not meant, another simple way of probably testing it would be to hold the rod and actually tap here and you'll be able to see the rod tip action so it kind of gives you an indication of what kind of uh, action it is and um, now going into the reels the best reel would be to use the lightest reel as possible so anything from size 1500 to 5000 do not use anything more than 5000 because it's not going to be easy for you to be casting soft plastics for a longer time and um, i'm using a 1500 size reel here and a 2500 size reel here. So this is a Daiwa and this is a Shimano. And going into the line, what line to use for soft plastics. So the best line is to use braided line. The reason being braided line has got zero stretch. So it's going to let you cast further and also feel what the actual lure is doing underwater. And I would be using anything from 10 pounds to 50 pounds. So if you're doing very light plastic fishing, probably 10 to 30 pounds. And if you're doing a little bit heavier soft plastic fishing, you can use anything from 30 to 50 pounds. But do not go anything more than 50 pounds because you're not going to be able to cast soft plastic um, into the distance. So going into the leaders, there are two kinds of leaders that you could actually use. Fluorocarbon leaders and the mono leader. I would personally go for fluorocarbon leader. The reason being the fluorocarbon leader is more abrasion resistant and the refractive index of fluorocarbon is equal to the water, which means that the leader is not going to be visible in the water. So the fishes are going to only see the actual lure in itself. So how to connect a soft plastic to uh, the leader? I would use the smallest clip that's available in the market. So there are different clips that are available. Personally, the best way I would say is to tie the leader directly to the soft plastic. So you're not compromising the action of the lure. And you can actually do a small twitch and the lure is still going to actually um, give you that action that you actually impart on the rod or the second best way would be to use a split ring and a solid ring so I would actually connect the leader to the solid ring and connect a split ring to the solid ring and I would use a small uh, split ring plier to actually put the soft plastic onto the leader and uh, so we've pretty much covered all the tackle uh, basics for soft plastics in session two we'll go through uh, what soft plastics to use how to rig a soft plastics and how, what techniques to use. Thank you.